On October 7, 1916, Georgia Tech beat Cumberland 222 to 0. Still the most lopsided outcome in college football history. Then last month, surprisingly, the game ball from that day appeared in an online auction. Well, that caught the attention of Yellow Jacket Nation, and in particular, the eye of a 46-year-old patent attorney and Georgia Tech grad who wanted nothing more than to bring that ball back to the flats, even if it cost him $40,000. All right, so Ryan, let's start from the beginning. You're from Delaware. You went to high school in Delaware. How does a kid from there end up at Georgia Tech? Yeah, so I'm, I'm in Delaware and I want to be an engineer. Um, happens to be my father went to Tech, uh, came to visit Georgia Tech with my dad, fell in love. I knew it was the right place. But I think I read in that New York Times piece that you were aware of the Cumberland game before coming to Tech, weren't you? As a kid, seven, eight, nine years old in Wilmington, uh, looking at Guinness Book or some kind of sports book that I had and, uh, and finding the most lopsided score, seeing the picture of the football that I ended up seeing recently that was up for auction and saying, you know, that's really neat. Wanted to dig into that um, because I couldn't figure how you can score 222 points in, in a single game. So yeah, something I fascinated over when I was a little kid. All right, so you've lived in Atlanta since being at Georgia Tech. So recently you're living in Atlanta. How do you find out about this auction? Auction, uh, I think it was noted in the AJC that the ball was up for auction. I thought it was a mistake. Uh, There's no way that this ball wasn't at Georgia Tech. Did you know going in that you wanted to give this ball to Georgia Tech if you won? It was uh, solely to, to get the ball, remain anonymous, drop it off at the at Tech office. I just, I didn't want it to find its way into a a home trophy case or something else. It was a fascination that I had as a kid. I think that's what kind of turned it on. I, I My plan was solely just to get it and bring it home. So take us through the process of the auction. Did you know you wanted to bid right away? How long was it? What all went into it? That yeah, was terrifying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ne never done anything like that before. You put in some bids, you watch other folks. If they bid higher than you, you got to bring it back. And of course, the whole time I'm thinking that I'm bidding against uh, fellow alums or even the Georgia Tech uh, office and over a course of a week just kind of re-up the bid always said to myself this is my final bid because I haven't talked to my kids haven't talked to my wife about it I'm a wreck and then the final day um, put in a final fairly high bid that was sure that when I woke up the next morning I will not have won and then you realize that you have won this ball you spent a lot of money but you won the ball what was that moment like completely shocked 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 at the at the final number, and shocked that uh, that I had put in that bid. Since it was on the West Coast, the bidding didn't end until about 3 a.m. I think our time, um, so I had to go to bed not knowing. All right, so you found out that you won, but you're the only one at the time that knew about this. So when you informed your wife and kids, how did that go down? Kids love it. Uh, don't wife even. Wife hates it. <laughs> wife, <laughs> wife understands because I was a nut from the beginning. When she met me, she knew what she was getting involved with. But uh, yeah, uh, she just asked if I was happy, and I said I was. Meant to remain anonymous to give it to, to Tech, and then it had a life of its own. But it was only going to be my family, and maybe maybe you guys would know. It does have to be pretty cool to know that you were responsible for bringing this legendary piece of history back to Tech. But I know that you have said you didn't do this for attention. Uh, it's my 15 minutes were up a long time ago. It, it's, it's not. I, I never meant it to be this way. I spent some money on a piece of leather. It's, it, it really isn't that big a deal. To me it is because of, of uh, you know my childhood. But there's so many folks in the development office and so much money coming into Georgia Tech in support. I feel like it's a very small piece, and yet it's been blown to this relatively large uh, uh, din, which is nice. I've been getting a lot of emails uh, and a lot of support from folks who are happy that it's home, so I'm happy.